happy to, to welcome you uh, on this uh, very, very special occasion. Uh, it's a, a special occasion because uh, we are trying uh, to revive uh, the memory of, uh, of uh, Jayanta Premachandra. Uh, I mean, it's very important for us and we discussed that for nearly a year with uh, Nilanka Premachandra, uh, how to, to have the occasion uh, to, to give the tribute and to offer the tribute uh, to, uh, to Jayanta Premachandra. Uh, he was a very well-known uh, painter. He, he, he studied, of course, in, in Sri Lanka, in Russia, and, uh, and in France and in Scandinavia. And um, uh, unfortunately, uh, he died in, in France in uh, 1988. But uh, what is important is to, uh, to have his memory with us and uh, his daughter, Nilanka, uh, tried to, to revive that. And that's what, what the, the, the exhibition that you had a uh, few, few, few days ago uh, was trying to, to explain. Um, and that's a very important, the tribute to an artist. And a, a very important, I think, a very important artist, a uh, Sri Lankan artist with different influence, but a very important Sri Lankan artist and is part of also of a school of, of, uh, of artists, a very important school. And uh, uh, we, we have to, to, to be uh, ready to, uh, to revive and to have these remembrances of, a, of another time. It's the uh, 60s, 70s and 80s. And uh, uh, now I think what was this time, what was the cultural impact of this time, it's still very important for us, uh, I mean, culturally. Um, the second part of it, it's uh, uh, why we are here. We are here also because Nilanka chose to, uh, to sell two, two, two paintings of his father uh, for, uh, to get some money for, for an hospital, for the general hospital, and for, for a very important uh, uh, action. And she will elaborate on that, and you know all about, about it. But um, uh, I think this way to use art to help people it's a very important thing, and it's um, and that's why I'm very happy uh, to be here uh, on the occasion uh, where we we will give uh, the product of this uh, of this auction uh, to uh, to the General Hospital. Joining me right now is the CEO of uh, the Stroke Support Organization in Sri Lanka. Please welcome Dr. Arjuna Fernando. How are you doing this evening? Yeah. Hello. Thank you. So today we're trying to dub revive part two. We all know what went down with the whole auction exhibition event. It was a success, by the way. And you know, all two events combined. The whole idea of all these events was, you know, funding for your organization for upgrading the, I, I guess the, uh, I would say the equipment for the neurology ward for General Hospital. So what does this uh, both combined events mean to you? Yeah, uh, I work uh, as a neurologist at the National Hospital and uh, as all of you will know it, uh, it consists of lots of old buildings very old buildings and new buildings so I work in a very old building which uh, is basically coming apart and uh, conditions are far from optimum so uh, Nilanka saw this and uh, came up with the idea of uh, starting a fundraiser to refurbish the building and then it was stroke was a subject which was very close to her heart because both her parents suffered from it and uh, so she very kindly uh, agreed to give the proceedings of uh, proceeds of the sale uh, and here I am at the uh, part two receiving the check so this money will go towards uh, improving patient facilities 
uh, we don't expect to buy any major equipment with this but we hope certainly hope to make the uh, lives uh, the, the, their stay uh, within the ward more comfortable right and one word how much would you like how would you describe these two events for your organization and since we're acknowledging the late great mr jain the prema chandra in one word how would you i would say describe this event oh i, I would uh, just say they were both events have been spectacular spectacular it is and this is isn't this the campaign for the ages campaign for the ages like isn't this the best campaign of all time you know you know work since given the history with uh, the lanka's parents and you know for the with the stroke organization and everything like that do you think it's a campaign for the ages yeah i guess so yeah, it's a it's a very worthy cause and uh, i'm glad it went the way it did Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Doctor. Joining me right now is the Ambassador of France to Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Please welcome His Excellency. Eric Leverto how are you doing this evening fine thank thank you thank you very much <laughs> so tonight is dubbed as revive part 2 day 2 of the most campaign for the age sort of event and it's the first event for the success of you know being an auction exhibition sort of event and it's all for a good cause for the whole stroke support organization of sri lanka and also we acknowledge the late great mr jayanta prema chandra what is your opinion on that and how what's your take on it's going for a good cause and everything like that uh, of course i am very happy to to be part of this uh, occasion to revive uh, revive the, the the time and uh, and the works of uh, jayanta premachandra uh, that was uh, uh, something that we we discussed with uh, with uh, uh, nilanka premachandra uh, his daughter and uh, we think it was important to have uh, again uh, the works of uh, of uh, of this uh, very important artist for for Sri Lanka but also uh, 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 an international artist and uh, uh, that's that's uh, uh, that's why we we are in it we 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 want we we wanted to be involved in in this it's no surprise the sort of impact that mr jayanta has made for the in the people of france as well he has paved the way for future artists as well and his idol was none other than pablo escobar and i would say how does it feel for you to be like you know joined into this event since you have collaborated with the embassy of france embassy of course sir and all of that what's your opinion on that uh, of course uh, in this field of culture uh it's important to work together um but uh let's say for for culture uh of course always you have partnership always you have somebody coming and to try to understand another culture and that's why exactly was the work of a uh, uh, jayanta primachandra first well of course he worked here in uh, in sri lanka then he went to russia then he went to to scandinavia and to france and you know on this uh, exchange of culture uh, we have this this works and that is important to to have this back and that's uh, all the, the things we we want to do uh, with revive and you know this revive one you know to have this auction and now to have uh, to the, to have this event uh, also this auction is not the end of the day that's the beginning of something else with the uh, the work of a general hospital and you know our culture will help humanitarian uh, 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 works that's that's for us it's very important this next question might be like a billion dollar question for you what does mr jain the prema chandra mean to you and in one word describe him his work of art and everything um i mean it's an artist from uh, let's say 50 60 70s or 80s uh, so it's a way to see the, the uh, and 
I have my age, so uh, of course I can I can understand very well what was uh, the the culture and uh, and uh, what was uh, uh, the, the the thinking and the vision of world at that time. And it's very important for me uh, to see that what Prima uh, Chandra describe and especially these two 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 works, you know. Refugees despair. Uh, it's very important what we see right now uh, in our world. Uh, Premier Chandra was also seeing that in his world at that time. By his words, I would say, Your Excellency, thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Joining me right now is Dimanti. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. Thank you. So we are here, joined here for Revive Part 2. People have been dumbing it as that after the success auction exhibition event where a couple of weeks back, right? And it's undoubtedly successful. So what's, what's your opinion on both events and how the, all the charity going into the stroke support organization for General Hospital for new, I would say, for new equipment? So what's your whole opinion on that? Well, it's, uh, it's an area that needs a lot of uh, attention. So we found that and actually Nilanka did because it was first hand experience and uh, because her mother was in the hospital recently. So uh, then realized that the people are working under very difficult conditions. So we decided it's something that we need to get on with and help out. Right. And what are your, I would say, you know, opinion of us acknowledging the Lake Grimm giant, the Prema Chandra for two events in a row. For a good cause also. Well, the idea is to re uh, revive the artist also. And uh, because he's been an artist in Sri Lanka as well as overseas in many countries. He has uh, exhibited in uh, Europe and uh, in Iraq and uh, in France, etc. So uh, we thought like he needs to be brought out to the public in this country so that people can know, get to know who he is. Right? So in one word, I would say, how would you think about the kind of the pave, the road that uh, Mr. Giant has paved the way for future artists? How it motivated them to become just like him? Also, I would not say, but be better at him as well. It could happen. It's no secret. So what's your thought about that? Well, one word I would say is inspirational. And um, because the journey he's taken from the 60s when like, you know, Sri Lanka was not even known around the world. And for him to go around exhibiting Sri paintings from Sri Lanka, it's, it's marvelous. Thank you so much, Dimanti. Have a wonderful evening as well. Joining me right now is the grand taught of Mr. Late Great Giant Prema Chandra. Please welcome Randini Lebir. How are you doing this evening? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? So we are here tonight for Revive Part 2. What are your thoughts so far? So today we called it Revive Part 2 because we wanted to have the ambassador of France involved as he couldn't attend uh, the auctioning event. So today it was where we were able to hand over the paintings to the bidders um, and uh, the ambassador as well as my mother Nilanka Premachandra was able to uh, hand over the paintings to the bidders. Right, and I gotta ask, this might come off a repetitive question, might be the first time I'm asking this as well. How about was the family process of you know finally giving away two of his finest paintings away, but for a good cause of course? Yeah, we were not sure whether to have uh, to exhibit uh, the paintings or not. But uh, since my grandmother actually uh, faced a stroke recently, my mother was very much involved with the uh, National Hospital. And she saw that there were a few wards that needed a lot of support. And, uh, you know, in terms of facilities, and just a lot in general. So we thought this would be a good cause 
to maybe auction two paintings and the proceeds could be given to develop and uplift the uh, uh, the national hospital the ward 16 of national hospital the neurological ward actually so yeah that's when we decided to pick two paintings it was a tough decision but i guess yeah that's how we made it happen wonderful and i got to ask you in one word describe these two events at a row because there have been words such as magnificent marvels and since you're one of the individuals behind this campaign as well i guess i would call it historical because we you know got all of this uh, done because of the paintings that were done by my grandfather really really long time ago and yeah it's definitely has to involve art history as i always put the hashtag on all our posts uh for Janta Premachandra Foundation so yeah historical that's what i said it's the campaign for the ages isn't it yeah definitely thank you so much and have a good evening as well join me right now is none other than samantha de silva how are you doing this evening i'm very good thank you so much by the way samantha congratulations on the purchase of the painting and you're one of the buyers as well i've got to ask you the painting's name is refuge right what piqued your interest since first between two paintings what piqued your interest with this painting so that's a really good question um i have worked for the last i think 36 years at the world bank and many of those years have actually um focused on refugees and uh, whether it was in Congo whether it was in Afghanistan um my interest has been on refugees i also worked in sri lanka uh, after the war in the north uh, focusing on refugees so to me this spoke of um something more i am also very interested in the artist because he is one of the few socialist uh, painters that we had in sri lanka and has a depth to his paintings which uh, speak to me so i've been asking this question all night long and people have given me multiple answers which are extravagant i would say and since you're a fan of mr legra mr jayanta premachandra i got to ask you what what do you got to say about him you could tell to the viewers at home as well um so i think it's a remarkable era in sri lankan uh, you know during his time it was a remarkable era in sri lankan painting because it was a socialist uh, focus and you know where you worried about the poor you worried about the marginalized and you worried um, about those who didn't have the same luxuries that were available to to the general public and that was your focus as an artist to speak about the marginalized and my father was a socialist and i think i am a socialist as well to some extent but um i think uh, that was an important period in sri lanka it also resonated with more global uh, the the global art scene with diego rivera and and people like that who actually uh, focused very much on the workers of the world and to me that's a very very important uh, area as a world bank staff i have worked all my life uh, focusing on the poor and and on the workers not not the elite but the workers and i think the um, socialist painters of that time gave voice to some of those issues that the workers faced and this particular painting i think is his only painting about refugees of a tamil uh, refugee woman and i think that's a very important part of our history uh, probably one of the most defining things in our history was was the war in sri lanka and the fact that he chose to depict uh, a woman um, who was a refugee in her own country i think is a very powerful statement thank you wonderful words i might add samantha and i got to ask you since we are living and breathing the word art tonight so we've done for the past event as well i've got to ask you your sari is looking rather marvelous and i got to tell you what can you tell about that um so i want to say it's a mondrian design uh, i mean it's a, it's it's a depiction of mondrian art uh, a french artist as you know and it is by ohe uh, fashion which is one of my favorite designers in in colombo thank you 
Wonderful, Samantha. Have a great evening and congratulations once again. Thank you. Joining me right now is an individual who needs no special introduction. It's Nilanka Premachandra. How are you doing this evening? I'm fine, thank you. So you're one of the sole uh, individuals, I might add, behind this campaign. And how has it been? Two events at a row. It, it's just a marvelous act, actually. You know, doing this, giving out your father's paintings to most prized possessions of AFA to the greater good. I would say, how did the whole? I mean, the whole. process come about of you know i seen you speak about before you're very possessive when it comes to your father's work and rightfully so you have to and how did the whole process come about well the whole process uh, started uh, after my mother uh, fell sick he she she's also suffering a stroke at the moment and uh, then after 33 years uh, i started reviving my father's uh, work um and uh, so both i combined both uh these uh, objectives together uh, to raise funds for the hospital basically um so uh, uh we auctioned two paintings uh to help the neurological services at the general hospital um so that's it yeah and how in one word how would you describe these two events at row since we are dubbing this as revive part 2 so today it was to hand over the two paintings auctioned uh to the two bidders uh and we are having it as at the french ambassador's residence uh, uh so uh, mr eric lavertu was uh, uh hosting this event so that we can hand over the two paintings uh which were uh, sold to the owners and also to uh, to hand over the checks to the hospital What are your thoughts on the fact that your father has like paved the way for future artists and not only you know won the hearts of the people of France as well that's why the embassy of France is involved in this camp uh, campaign as well I would add what's your take on that Well my father passed away in France in 1988 he uh, settled down in France in 1984 um so uh basically he did not come back to sri lanka from 1984 and uh, only uh, as i said 34 years later only i started reviving his work uh, and his legacy um, so that's that's it yeah and in all all it all starts well ends well i suppose cuz all in all not bad everyone's talking about you and marvel's campaign you put put together as well i don't think remarkable is the word not a proper adjective i could give you thank you so much for giving us this wonderful opportunity as well and thank you for for being inspirations to others as well thank you so much thank you